Bradley Cooper getting the nomination for A Star is Born. No surprise there. Willem Dafoe for At Eternity's Gate. I gotta be honest, guys, I don't know what that movie is. <laughs> um, that, is a, <laughs> that is a movie you only need to watch for Willem Dafoe's performance. Okay. I've seen it. it mm-hmm. is, uh, it's basically Vin- Vincent Van Gogh's sort of life story. It's a biopic. Willem Dafoe plays him. It has Oscar Isaacs in it. it. It's sort of like, I would say, a very auteur sort of art house performance. Okay. But he does an incredible job. Definitely not like a crowd pleaser, though. Okay. Um, this is this is that movie you watch just to see a really great actor performance. Okay. We also had Lucas Hedges in Boy Erased, uh, Rami Malek in Bohemian Rhapsody, and John David Washington for Black Klansmen. Uh, again, I think this is a category that's like powerhouse packed. Nobody's being critical of these performances. They've been lauded nonstop. And as you guys noted, a kind of a surprise nomination for John David Washington, maybe, but we're here for it. Yeah. Uh, so your pick for this category. Oh boy. I think I have to go I think I have to go with Bradley Cooper. The two that I'm most excited about here though are the surprises which of course as you said are John David Washington but also Lucas Lucas Hedges Hedges, for Boy Erased. Shockingly even with his track record it feels like we're not having that conversation about him in this category and that is yet another special movie that we're going to be talking about a lot this year. So to have him here is something special, I think. But also, one name that's missing here, and I think this was his shot to get a little recognition, is it's Ethan, Ethan Hawke Hawk. for yeah. First Reform. Yeah. We're talking about how these are split between drama and then musical and comedy. That's where you get the door wide open to get people like, let's say, Willem Dafoe and Ethan Hawke. And to see Ethan Hawke shut out here is unfortunate. But you know what? He he was very well um, loved at the Gotham Awards. Yep. He's gotten love from New York Film Critics Circle. He also cracked up another Independent Spirit Awards. If he's able to ride a lot of the critical uh, groups, he might be able to push through. Because sometimes that does happen where somebody is absent at the Hollywood Foreign Press, but they have this huge like Critics Association love, and they may be able mm-hmm. to squeak in. But yeah, I was really thinking both him and Paul Schrader for a screenplay needed this to sort of pull their momentum. And the fact that they're not here, I don't think really bodes well for them long term. They, they needed to be up here today. Oh, they needed to be up here today, but we still think Bradley Cooper's going to win. Okay. Okay.